<laughs> looking around like, do Nikki know how to fight? Do this Nikki know how to fight? Cause Darian was beating ass, taking names. She had her moments. Sometimes she'd be a little intimidated. But then my daughter would be like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, Darian would fight. Darian was a fighter. She ain't care about who you was. And that's, that has always stayed true, apparently, because I've been asking questions. I'll be getting to know my daughter because she don't want to talk. She don't want to talk to nobody about nothing. She told us what she wanted to tell us, and she came in asking questions and all that. So, like, she going to ask what she want to know. She going to give you an opportunity to tell her whatever it is you're going to tell her, whether you're going to tell her the truth or a lie. And then she going to just take what fucking resonate with her. <laughs> and that's the truth she going to go with. And she might come back to it and she might not. But a lot of times, the only time Darian comes to some shit is some shit that she want to know. That's important for her. And that's be the thing because everybody want her to know what they want her to know. And she like, I don't want none of that shit. I listen to you. But no, I ask what I want to know. So tell me about that. And don't nobody want to tell her about that. They like, you know, we like, why is that important? Or why you bring it up old stuff? Or we don't want to be held accountable or whatever it is. And so everybody, and so Darian like, all right, well. Y'all keep y'all secrets over there and I'm gonna be over here. Cause why the fuck y'all holding out on secrets? And we like it ain't none of your business. Or whatever it is. And she like it is. Cause nigga, that shit affected my life. And she came in Karen and now she don't give a fuck about nobody. Nobody at all. That shit she be saying to people be like, damn, and she don't think nothing wrong with it. And I guess it's just damn because it's for Darian because y'all done say a way worse to a whole lot more people. But don't nobody expect Darian to talk like that when she do. I mean, sometimes it'd be funny because you don't expect it. You'd be like, what? And when she get mad, she just start saying shit. She don't say much the older she get. But when she do, that make it worse because she don't really say nothing. So when she do say something or let something be known and it ain't what you want, that shit resonate a whole lot different. And that's powerful. That's to teach you the power of words, your fucking voice, your silence. Because when you talk, that shit be loud as fuck. I'm like, oh, that's why my daughter, everybody telling my daughter she always so loud. Because her energy just so fucking powerful. She is loud, too. I told her ass she was intimidating to me. <laughs> she ain't really understand that. And I know Taisha told her that. I know Taisha told her. Taisha be knowing me. She might see me differently now. It's been, you know, it's been some time. <laughs> and I know my daughter piece and pe put puzzle pieces together at that relationship. And she gonna put some stuff together. And I don't know if she gonna say nothing or not. Probably not. She ain't gonna say nothing about nothing unless she have to or unless she feel like that. I don't know what she gonna do these days. Cause she doing whatever fuck she want to do or she don't want to do. Ain't nobody seen her. Ain't nobody talked to her. Don't nobody know why she's mad. She don't care. It's like my daughter done went. I don't know who she is right now. I thought I knew. As soon as I thought I knew her, that shit exploded in my face. I ain't no shit in it hurt my feelings. Ooh, I thought we was in a good place. She hurt my feelings bad. I feel like everything... Everything that we had accomplished, that I had accomplished, that she had accomplished through me, for me, against me, everything that I had put her through, all the forgiveness, all the everything. I thought we had got past everything. We was doing good. She was talking about having kids and a family and allowing me in her life in such a special way. She wasn't sure, and I wasn't going to push her. You know, we still ain't talk. Like, I was trying to take it at her pace. I knew she ain't know how to deal with me. I ain't know if she liked me, if she didn't like me. But she was giving me some of her time and energy. So I'm like, all right, we're going to go with that. And I didn't understand it either. I kind of felt like her. I kind of felt like, Charlotte, you don't do this to nobody. You don't let nobody treat you no kind of way or do this. And, you know, people were saying that too. Like, why you take that from her? And I couldn't explain it. I was mad at myself too. And I guess some part of me felt like, because I deserved it. Whatever she gave me, I deserved it. Because I put her through that shit. She went through all that shit because of me and my choices and everything. And I ain't want to sit with that. I ain't want to sit with that shit at all. For all of my kids. That was too much to take. And I think she said that shit to me one day. Like, I get it. 
because you got to live with. I was like, and it was like she put that shit in my head and I couldn't take it out because I don't go and sitting with it like that. I ain't shit. Life was life was life. Like life had happened. I couldn't do nothing about it. Like, and I didn't want to feel bad about it. I didn't want to feel bad about none of that shit. And I was ready for all the shit they was going to say to me, all the shit they was going to throw at me. And they did at first. Except for Darian, she always came in different. <laughs> she always switched that shit up. Just when I thought we was we was at some, a spot, like we was cool and everything. We was getting to know each other. Some shit blew up in my fucking face and her face too. And it was usually my shit blowing up in her face. I did stuff all wrong. I did, I did. I made so many mistakes trying to do right, trying to think like her, trying to figure it out, trying to be like her. I did a whole bunch of shit to my daughter even after she came around because I got mad because I couldn't figure it out because I got mad at her because I got mad at her my daughter my Darian I got mad at her in some ways I treated her way worse than any of them people did again I didn't protect her the first time. I didn't protect her the second time. I didn't protect her the third time. I made so many choices and decisions and did so much shit. To Darian. To Nick and then to Nikki. <laughs> cause I was mad cause like, bitch, who was you? You was not my daughter. We'll bring back Darian so me and Darian can have it out. So we can have it out and we can get this shit taken care of. Cause Darian, I birthed. I birthed Darian. I figured her little ass out before she left. And I knew Darian was hot. Oh, that girl was in my fucking dreams. I had to go figure out some people, go make some connections, go see some, because it had been a long time. Like, I feel like I knew some stuff, but then I didn't. Knew some magic, had magic, had gifts. Like, I feel like I knew some shit, then I didn't. And then my daughter fucking hunted me. She would be right there in my fucking room having a conversation with me when she's supposed to be in with them people. I'm like, didn't y'all tell me she was in, in Youngstown or Toledo or something? Like, because I was trying to keep up with them. They was got lost in that system, bitch. I'm faster. I was trying to get my kids back. I was at first. For a while, I was trying. I was really trying, doing everything they had told me to do. Everything they said I was doing. And I feel like she felt that. I feel like I was telling her, I was talking to her, and she believed it. And then something they said to her, or said to me, or something happened, or a social worker, it could have been anything. I probably was already tired, because them niggas was putting me through oops. I was like, y'all took my kids for nothing, really. That's how I felt. Like, y'all took them for nothing, out of my fucking house. But I was gone. I felt like that should have been illegal. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care who you are. I felt like that was some bounty hunter shit. Like, to kids. You caught them when you knew their mama was not home. Because you wanted me. Because you was looking for me, nigga. So you went and took my kids. Trying to get my attention. Because you think that you somebody important. A judge or something. Whoever I was fucking with. I know who it is. I ain't going to tell her. I ain't going to tell her unless until I need to. Cause I got some favors I need to cash. Them niggas owe me. They owe me a whole lot of shit. More shit than they could ever imagine and the motherfuckers is gonna pay it one way or another. Darian said I'm gonna burn this bitch down. I'm gonna burn it down. Y'all yeah, been sending some messages through her and it's gonna hit whoever the fuck it hit when it hit them. However she be able to process them. Cause I know who the fuck my daughter is, Darian, Nikki. Cause I done figured out some shit about Nikki too. Her ass is different. She different. Ooh, she way different than Darian. Nikki? Oh, she on a whole other fucking level. It's like Darian super, super powered her ass. Supercharged. Like, oh my goodness. That bitch. And I mean, my daughter don't say that shit. She don't use that word. And I, you know, I respect her wishes. But damn. She cold. And I, be, and I still see Darian. Like, Nikki, I ain't get to know Nikki for a long time. Like, who the hell is Nikki? You know, I call her Darian. Then I tried to start studying because I'm like, she ain't Darian though. I mean, no, nah, she ain't Darian at all. Sometimes I can see her. Sometimes, but like, who the fuck is Nikki? All right, so they done changed her name. Let me stop being Charlotte. Let me try to do something different. Let me try to figure out 
who the fuck Nikki is. Nikki, what's what's that middle name again? Nikki just oh, so you wanted to be a white girl. Some motherfuckers made my Darian want to be a white girl. Darian was always proud of who she was and how she looked. I don't even know if looks was a thing to her. Like Darian was, I know some girls, it's just, you know, I don't remember Darian being like that. I be having to figure it out because I got so many fucking kids. And I was only with all of them for a short period of time or not at all. And then they all came back and they was big and they was tall and they was handsome or they was beautiful or they was rough or whatever it is. And I'm like, who the fuck is these kids? Because when I left you, you was a baby. You was a baby in, in Darian's lap or in her hands. That's how I know her. I know she ain't lied. She was taking care of them damn kids like that. Like they was her kids. So when she told me they was her fucking kids, keep my hands off of them. That shit pissed me off, but I had to listen. I had to respect that shit. I had to, until I didn't, because at the end of the day, them my motherfucking kids, I birthed them. Yep, I put them through all this shit. So you go over there and do what you gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You they sister, but if you gonna be your mom, they mama, I can't take, them for, take that from you, because you is they mama. You probably more they mama than anybody else. They listen to her more. Well, I don't know if they listen to nobody now. I know she be telling them shit they don't listen, but... Can't take shit from her or Nikki, cause Nikki. The more I asked around, Nikki ass just came out of nowhere. Who the fuck is Nikki? Like, where did they even get that name from? Same shit my daughter be saying. Who the fuck is Nikki? You just like Nikki Jessica. And then she said she chose it. And I'm like, well, why would you choose that? I need to know the story behind this. So, like I said. Somebody going to pay me. They're going to pay me in information. They're going to pay me in blood. They ain't going to pay me in cash. It's new shit now in currency. Like when she say that shit, currency, nigga. They're going to pay me in currency. Whatever energetic currency I need at that time. I'm going to let her do some of that magic with her, some of her words. I'm going to just put the energy out there. I'm going to just let her feel it. Let her roll with it. Why she talking to y'all? I hope she recording this shit. Sometimes she just be throwing shit out in the atmosphere. When they get caught, yeah. <laughs> it's a change in energy. Witches and warlocks, all this shit. Nigga, we back. Fuck y'all, thought y'all was gonna get rid of us forever. No, we bringing all this shit back. To roll. That's what they call it now. She said that shit the other day, you wanna slip. Then she like, fuck it, yeah, fuck it. Just say all that shit. Well, keep some secrets for yourself so you can use them against them later. I know you don't do that, but I do it. And I'm figure out how to figure out all the secrets that your ass know. Because I've been following you, you little girl. Your ass way too fucking connected. And you mad now. Some of them pissed you off. Everybody's scared. Because I thought I was connected. Woo! Your shit's run deep. Your ass is international. And I know my fucking daughter. <laughs> I know her better than she know herself. Some, in some situations, I could see shit that she can't see at all because she don't think like that. But I fucking do, and they do too. So let me go ahead and follow your steps. Mm -hmm. I got your back now. Yeah. Whatever, however anybody want to look at it. Mm -hmm. Don't benefit off all this shit. That's why I don't nobody want to touch her because they know who she is. I was trying to tell her she could see. No, I wasn't. I wasn't saying shit. I want to see what she was going to do. Play with her game. This is the game to me, some of it. Now, like, I mean, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit everywhere. A whole lot of shit. Her ass is sitting pretty. Not as pretty as she wants to at all, by no means. And she deserved to be sitting way fucking, she just fuck sitting pretty where her fucking throne at. With all her gold, with all her jewels, and what she be wearing, all them rocks and shit she be playing with. <laughs> I'm like, my daughter playing with rocks. Oh, she an earth angel, huh? Basking in the sun, in the water. Oh, okay. I knew she wasn't from this fucking earth. Damn stars in her eyes. I remember that shit, that little laugh. Look, inquisitive laughs. Inquisitive ass eyes. It's like, she fucking got stars. Like, when they say you not queens off they ass, she not, she got stars in her fucking eyes. Like, the fuck she gazing at that she's so in love with that you can really see the fuck stars in her eyes <laughs> what fucking sparkling and shit i'm like who the fuck baby got stars my family her and my sister fucking stars in the eyes some of my memories be is there 
some things to be said, they trigger some memories. I got my memories. Start talking about she ain't got her memories because she has been through so much fucking shit. She done been through so much fucking trauma. Her brain done got shook up so bad. Yeah, I looked up some of that shit. PTSD. What the fuck is that? Post-traumatic stress. Disorder. Where'd she get that shit from? She posted something about foster care and life. What the fuck? I think my daughter has been at war. She fucking went to war with the world. For her, her siblings... And all them motherfucking kids. Because I know my daughter, if she was in there, she was fighting everybody for everybody. Especially anybody that couldn't defend themselves. And I don't care what she did to achieve it. Because that's just who she is. She fighting for everybody all the time. Because that's all she know how to do. That shit is like ingrained in her. Even when she ain't physically fighting. She looks so peaceful over there. Her mind is always gone. That's why her ass had stars in her eyes. She couldn't keep her fucking mind from going like a damn uh slot machine at the at the uh <laughs> at the casino. Just rolling, just fucking rolling so fast. She got stars in her eyes. <laughs> hey, she is she is so beautiful to me. She a lot of things. A lot of things. To everybody. Everybody, I don't know if anybody can figure her out. I'm like, oh, that's why her ass been single for so long. That's why she can't find nobody. But she ain't looking for shit. She didn't say, I ain't, whatever's supposed to get here, gonna get here. They gonna get me up out of this shit. And I'm like, that is not how I work, girl. Don't, ain't no damn horse and carriage. No savior. You know that. You keep saying that shit. But you still think somebody gonna help you. Somebody gonna save you. No, everybody got an agenda. Everybody mad. I'm like, what you gonna settle for? Everybody's waiting to see what you gonna settle for. Who you gonna settle for. What you gonna do. So they say they was right. Or something like who who to target, what to do, what to say, and I know you got shit coming at you from everywhere, and you don't even understand for real because ain't nobody told you nothing on purpose. They saw who you was or who you wasn't, where you came from, what you got, and some of them saw exactly who you were on the supernatural side. Niggas know your ass special. You don't know you special. I mean, you know you special. Like, I'm like, nah, she moved through this bitch, too. She knows she's special. She don't know what that means. Not pertaining to her. And she, she think everybody else special. No, you the special one. Then people be saying shit, trying to use it against her. Thinking you the special. No, how bitch is my daughter. She's special. She's more special than anybody. It make y'all feel better to think y'all superior. And then it make y'all feel worse because... You know she the superior one. She don't even think like that. And then you mad because you think like that. And you like, why well, I think she's more superior than me. I'm not supposed to think that. Like, I'm supposed to think I'm the shit. It's like she thinks she the shit. And now you mad at her for some shit. I know how it go. It's a fucking psycho. And she think everybody like her. Everybody cool with her. Maybe they are. At some point, she got her memories and her stories and her pictures and whatever stuff is in her head. But when I look, I'll be like... Mm. I see exactly what they capable of, what they doing. I'm seeing what they kids do. I'm seeing all the shit she ain't seeing. And I'm seeing what she's saying. I'm seeing what she posting. I'm seeing what people saying about her, what they think about her. I'm seeing her relationships and her interactions with people first. And then how it is after they come across some other people that she's been connected to. And I'm like, oh, it's you. It's them. It's them that's fucking up her energy. It's them that fucking up her reputation. It's them. And she don't even know she got a reputation to uphold. She ain't trying to uphold. Nobody's fucking nothing. And people mad because they like, we think this about you. She don't give a fuck what y'all think about her. That's your shit. So, and what I'm supposed to do with that? And I'm like, damn, ain't no currency in that. Learning all that shit. Oh, she on gossip, huh? That's hard, though. That's hard. Like, what she talk about? She don't talk about nothing until she get high. Then she talk about everything. Who's everything? I don't know. School she went to or books. And Nikki's smart as fuck, man. That girl get high. She be like, be hard to keep up with her ass on a regular day. That girl get high. That shit be elevated, as she said one day. That shit stuck with me. I said, she ain't want to stay high. Her ass said, I'm elevated. <laughs> I said, hell fucking yeah, I'm going to start using that shit because Nikki has the elevated. I had to go look that shit up in the dictionary, elevated. 
And Nikki always trying, I'm like, she always trying to sound smart. I'm like, oh no, that girl. Then I looked up the word. I'm like, oh, she ain't trying to sound smarter. Maybe she is, but she right. <laughs> she is elevated. Everything that be coming out of her mouth be elevated. Then how I saw, then how I felt like, no, it wasn't good enough. Like it wasn't descriptive enough. I gotta say she elevated. Nikki used to do spelling bees or some shit, didn't she? She was one of them kids, like, what is it, the key lady to be? <laughs> then that girl started naming movies and shit. And I'm like, oh, she know exactly who she is, or no, she don't. It's still a mystery. It's still a secret. Just like her. It's like, is she being a secret or is she just private? It's the difference. Whatever it is, you don't know because you ask me and I don't know either. Why you think I knew the answers? How cool you think we is? Let's go see if we can find out from some of them friends of hers. She don't let nobody in her house with the same people. I think most people don't do that, nigga. We, no, some people do. They like, what you mean? I don't let nobody in your house. For what? Mm-mm. Nobody come to my damn house, nigga. I got to sleep here. That's exactly what she said. Nigga, this world, my cars is down at, like, who the fuck come to my house? Mm -mm. For what? You gotta be screaming. So I'm like, okay, I know you screaming them for you. They get over there. So how all this shit slide through? You know who they? You know that they talk to that girl that you don't talk to. And I'm just like, nah, that shit don't work. That shit ain't all right. And my daughter like, like, why you think that's cool? Cause she do it. She don't talk to whoever the fuck she want to talk to. She don't care who you talk to. Don't bring that shit to her doorstep. And she's simple. Like, keep all that shit over there. And when you over here, we gonna do this. <laughs> And when you over there, you do that. But when you get to this doorstep, <laughs> like that's exactly how dear hearing is. She like, hey, I ain't been through enough. So this is what the line is. I don't want none of that shit. Everything I want is over here. And I'm trying to get there. And y'all see that shit. So either you gonna help or you gonna stay out the fuck out my way. Bring me some joy when I want it. Whatever that look like for you. Because I'm like, that's why she got to be attached to them. Nothing else because they make her happy. Because I don't see nothing else they doing. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't giving her no money. They ain't taking her on no vacations. She be going on vacations and stuff, but I know she paid for it. They ain't treating her. They ain't doing nothing. I be like, all the shit they know that she been through, they ain't getting together collectively as a friend and taking her out together on vacations and stuff. I'm like, nah, they probably don't do that. They probably do that with each other, not her. Because I know them chicks. I don't know how pretty they look to her, but they do not look that pretty to me. And I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about all of it. Because I'm figuring out how the fuck they slip through her systems because her ass is untouchable. And then I start thinking back. I'm like, okay, she met you in high school. She met you. Oh, okay. She wasn't all the way there yet. She was still trying to figure it out. And I looked at a couple other people that got underneath her damn cloak. I'm like, she was talking to that nigga? What the fuck he got? I mean, I could see some, but no, he ain't not. He is not on your level. Let me go. Mm -mm. I don't even got to touch nothing because she do it for me. She don't, she don't never look back at them niggas' directions. And they be up there talking about her like bitches. Just all kind of shit. It be easy to get information on who she fuck with. She don't never say nothing, but they be talking. It, be, it might be a couple back there that's, you know, understand who she is and respect they, her wishes. Or probably more, more likely they ass is either and theirs for however they see her. Or they trying to keep her from their wives or they or their sisters or their aunties or their mamas or their girlfriends from finding out that they used to fuck with Nikki for whatever reason. But she done pissed off so many females and she don't even know. It. But then I'm like, start finding out it's a whole bunch of other females that love Nikki. It's like a divide going on. <laughs> it's like a war of the worlds. <laughs> Nikki got people on her side, like if they love her, they love her, and if they fucking don't, they hate her ass, and then sometimes it be from the same fucking people, the same person. I'll be like, oh, what's your sign? Oh, y'all are Geminis, and then I gotta look at my daughter, like, is you the same way? She is definitely a Gemini, though, but and I'm like, nah, that's not a Gemini. What's that other one, Aquarius or something? Like... Mm -mm, a little nigga, some of y'all now nah, I wanna <laughs> niggas looking into horoscopes trying to figure out who some of these people is that Nikki fucking with and how and trying to figure Nikki ass out. <laughs> she said she was born June. What? She put that shit in the book. Girl, everybody, everybody in the supernatural about to be in your business. They about to be trying to read your secrets. They trying to get you to come to them. 
But I, I done found out quick. Even if I ain't already know, I found out quick that she's more superior than all y'all and all y'all shit. She came through tarot and changed the fucking game and she don't even know it. And y'all niggas need to pay her because y'all know it didn't come from you. Y'all know ain't that shit. Y'all might have had something. You came across my daughter or came across somebody that came across my daughter. Yo ass started doing all kinds of shit. I know because I seen it this last time. She came through and flipped everything up on his head. And she don't even know. Because all this shit that exists now, <laughs> they almost wiped out the fucking system, the old system for real. When she touched it. Because I'm following her. She touched it and y'all changed everything to adapt to her. Because that's how she is. The fucking energy moved with her. And she don't even know what it was before she got there. Because she wasn't paying attention or because she's so further alone than everybody or whether God set it out for her, whoever. It was like, it's like the, the universe that she said, the universe left the gift specifically for her. Like, when you get here, I got this lined up for you. Just for you. And you going to change everything. And now you got to learn how to ask for what you're supposed to have. You got to figure out how to go back to get everything the niggas owe you. And she like, hey. She ain't gonna do it. She don't know how to do it. She don't even know what to do because she just used to, she don't know. It's just who she is. And she walked somewhere in the fucking world shit. And some changes happened. But they hadn't happened before she got there. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. She said, um, there were some systems that this is the whole system changed, but if you wasn't already there, then you don't know. Like, mm -hmm, but I'm tapped in all kind of places. And so is a whole bunch of other people that see shit. And so, yeah, I'm just, I, somebody gonna pay her. They gonna pay her handsomely. But all the shit she doing, that's making shit easier. Because we know what's happening. So do what the fuck you supposed to do before you do what before you made to do what you supposed to do. Y'all know how that shit work. Y'all niggas is it. Y'all know she ain't the only one. She proud of where she from. But she from a whole bunch of places. She talk about one place and they think, oh no, nah, she from every fuck where. So her whole universe is hers. Her as international. And I'm pretty sure it's people over there that whatever, but I'ma stay out of her business. I'ma stay. Well, only to a degree. This is my girl way more connected. I'll ever know. Ooh, that kind of power. And she don't even care that she got it. She don't know that she got it. She don't care that she got it. She just want niggas to do right when they in her space. And she just want to be happy. I mean, she want a bunch of other shit. I can't even fathom the shit she want. Because I know, I mean, I can a little bit. Because I know what I want. I know what that shit mean to me. But she different and she always gonna be different in that aspect. That's what I know. She's supposed to be like a first lady or something. She don't never look at that. She ain't never fucking with no white man. I done tried to throw some her way, some good ones. Then I be joking with her, like, yeah, I feel like I made it worse. <laughs> fucking with them white men, them old ones too. She like, hell no, them niggas got worms or something. <laughs> But uh, my she she like a black. I was like, oh, she like a black black too. She's serious about black men. She'll go, okay. She 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 like I thought some of them, some of the uh, biracial boys they be scared to talk to her. She might do one. They like, okay. So what's considered black to Nikki? And I'm niggas crying. What's black? Black. If you black, you black. Is you black? No, I don't mean white. I don't mean Latino. I mean black. She real specific. She don't really even mention other people, but like people, they like, damn, Nikki racist, racist. Like, do she know other people exist outside of her? There is, there is uh, Filipinos, there's Asians, it ain't just black and white. Some people offended. And she like, yeah, I ain't seen nothing over there. I ain't, she ain't seen nothing nowhere. <laughs> and y'all don't even know that she's seen nowhere black. Y'all don't know she around the black people. Everybody like, who the fuck Nikki fucking with? And the men that say that they fucked with her, we like, mm, when? Where was she at? When? Y'all probably looking at her social media so y'all can keep y'all story straight. Her ass is exclusive. <laughs> Everybody thinks she a kept wife. They like, where her man at? What celebrities flew in town? Who was over there? What'd she do? She did disappear. Did she come to the after party? Who was at the after party? Was they? <laughs>
<laughs> oh shit. Just the walking God. She's like, I keep telling niggas who I am. I'm fucking God. Why the fuck I'm over here? I know what she thinks, because I would be thinking the same thing. Them same conversations that she be having, because niggas be having her voice everywhere. Having snippets of my daughter's voice. She don't even know she is popular as she is. She thinks she alone. She think people mad at her. They probably is. And she don't care. That make people even more mad. She don't give a fuck about nothing. Everybody trying to figure out what she thinking. She tell y'all whatever that is. And then that's it. Y'all want her to go deeper. Some people do. <laughs> the right ones. Everybody else like. What the fuck is she even talking about? However it is. She got niggas attention. And don't even know it. Don't, I don't even know if she necessarily want it. And people dying for all the attention she got, and she don't even recognize it. They like, she ain't gonna take them, I'll take them. And some of them like, if she don't want to do I want you, what you got going on? She putting these niggas through the ringer. And these bitches too, cause she said that shit. I'm like, oh, uh huh. You make sure everybody getting it. She makes sure. If you ain't catching it, sometimes they be getting mad at her. Like, you always on the dudes, what about the women? Whatever opinions they got, is she gay, is she lesbian, she bi, she fucking with niggas, she doing this. Well, she told you she a fuck family. She ain't nobody, though. Nikki ain't shit. Still want her. Still looking at her like, mm, some of them think she ain't shit. And I listened to them videos and laughed. A lot of girls did. It's like, oh, somebody pissed Nikki way off. She going through a heartbreak. I'm like, what kind of heartbreak? Uh, I guess, I don't know. What that like? That ain't how she identified. Who broke my heart? Niggas, my heart been broke forever. Like, a nigga, a girl, like who? Who? What I'm, I don't know. I guess y'all see more than I do. So I guess I'm going through a heartbreak. That is everything I had to say. If I was going through a heartbreak, I don't feel that shit no more. I would have never identified myself as going through a heartbreak, but I guess shit, some whatever on some realm and some. Some reality, I guess I was. The one hitting my ass here is that. I wasn't identifying it as that. Felt like, but I guess so, because it felt like I lost a whole lot of attachments that was on me that I didn't even know was on me or that I didn't know I wasn't supposed to, like, I don't know. I feel like I uh, disconnected from a lot of stuff that either I didn't know was broken or was was failing or I'll, mm -hmm. Ooh, and some stuff is, feel like it was done on purpose and that's cool too i just mm -hmm. shit, everybody move while they gonna move everybody move how they move you move i move just like that i move you move just like that hey dj bring that back so anyway, all of that, channeling. That was really interesting to find out that I channel, especially on this level, but I guess I always have. I just didn't know it. Cause I just, you know, sometimes I always tune out and, and have some, some moments. And then when I started smoking weed, it got a little, I got a little bit more freer or open with it, more tapped in and then this year these last couple months that shit been really strong like i guess i was cracked open now but i started this video saying that i am i feel like i'm like a i am a true gemini i'm a true many things and it's really interesting when i think about it like i am darian michelle Bab, and I am also Nikki Jessica Jones, and I hate that last name Jones. I don't want that shit attached to me. And I thought about changing it, but change it to what? Like I ain't gonna make up nothing. It gotta be connected. Like I want to be connected to it. But I'm gonna get rid of that shit, all that shit, and it's like, oh, go back to Bab. Hell no, I ain't putting that shit up back on ever. Hell no, I changed clothes. It gonna come back, and no, nah, to, to what? I ain't. Pro Hell no, no, no. So it's going to be my partner wherever I get connected to on that intimate level of partnership, of marriage, of, you know, commitment, a family building if I choose to. I don't know yet. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do with my name, but 
or what I want to do with it because you know I'm Nikki but I was daring too and I want to combine them together because sometimes I feel like I'm missing a whole part of me and I am and sometimes it get real hard like nigga them niggas took my whole name from me they took my whole identity and gave, and gave me a new one and I did choose this one that was better than what she thought I was bitch you trying to name me after you I hate you and you hate me so what we gonna do here why, why would I take your whole name that shit sound ridiculous trying to name me Yvonne Janet Jones why the fuck would I do that hell no nah. we ain't twins and then she's like oh we'll just go f as Janet Hell no, I don't want nothing. To, uh, I'm mad that I gotta have your last name. I don't like you. You told me you don't like me, so no. Nah. And then at first I told they asked us Nicole Jessica, cause the white girl I was in the foster home with, her name was Jessica Nicole. I couldn't think of nothing. They ain't give me no book to read. They ain't give me no ideas and no suggestions. It was like figure it out. And I was just like, uh, what's different? What, what don't nobody know around here? I think her name was Jessica Nicole, but then no, nah, cause her, and I needed that, cause her father was fucking touching on me and I needed to be able to remember to make sure that nigga got locked up but I didn't want to be named her but I knew I would forget her name and I liked the name like I had read um uh Sweet Valley the Sweet Valley Hot Girls Jessica and Elizabeth they were sisters so Jessica seemed like a cool name and then Nicole it was like okay I guess you know it's Nicole, like, she probably probably could have been a character in another book that I was reading because I used to read all them books, The Babysitter's Club and all that. So it just kind of was like, oh, okay, off the top of my head. And then when we got to the, when we got there at the last minute, well, I, well, I had told, I had switched it up because she liked Nicole. She was like a little bit and I was like, mm, she too happy with that. So I told him Nikki, I don't think I read something or I, or I heard something or whatever and it was like oh a nickname i was like oh, okay i said it's gonna be nicole y'all call me nikki and then she made a face or something and i knew i had a winner so then when i went in like a little bit before we went in i changed i said i'm gonna be nikki jessica and they was like oh that's the nickname and don't nobody name be nikki mm -hmm, that's what that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be that that's gonna be my new name if i would have gave them too much time to think about it, they would have changed their mind so nikki it was Nikki Jessica, mostly because she hated it. But you gonna have kids changing their name, like making them change their name. You need to have a, a, some. I don't know. Maybe it was cool that I fucking popped that shit out the out my head. Yep, that little girl, Nicole Jessica. I don't remember their last name. Grown ass man. I forgot about her. I forgot about her. All the, she was all the way back there. I don't even think I remember she existed for real until recently. Got that memory back. It ain't like I thought about her every time. I, um, mm -mm. This is my name. I, and it ain't Nicole. Like, I ain't Nicole nowhere near my name. And I don't let nobody call me Nicole. Ever. That ain't my name. That ain't what I chose. Yvonne liked it. I ain't like it because she liked it. She ain't like Nikki, so I'm fucking be Nikki. You making me change my name, bitch? I'm gonna change it to something you don't like. You gonna end up calling me something you don't want to call me anyway. Cause why calling me Darian make you mad? It's my fucking name. How is it so hard to say? It don't seem hard to me. I just say it. Everybody else saying it. Ain't nobody saying it wrong until you start saying it was too hard. Like you told them to do it. Like now you told them that to do it so it makes sense, so that I can believe you. I don't believe you because you were saying it fine. You only try to say it wrong when you're trying to be smart, but you ain't that smart. You said it. You said you went to the fifth grade and you went out and you, you know, you dropped out. I'm trying to figure out how you did that because fifth grade, so if I'm in, what, second grade now, that's three more grades, you only going to be, how old did you go? So how did you drop out of, in the fifth grade? Your mama didn't make you go to school no more? Like, what happened? And that's fine if that's what it is. It don't mean you stupid, but you said you stupid. Well, you are stupid, and you're trying to call me stupid all the time. You don't even know the, you don't even know the definition of the word. Because everybody know Darian ain't stupid. Everybody know Darian is smart. That's why y'all get mad. You think you're too smart. So either you think I'm too smart or you think I'm stupid. And then you get mad because 
You say I'm calling you stupid and I'm really just asking you a question or I'm just repeating back to you what you said. To me, it just didn't reverse or different because you said it. But you ain't know the definition. Now you think I'm trying to be smart. And maybe I am because I'm just naturally smart. And you be getting all twisted all up when I'm saying stuff. But I'm just <laughs> repeating to you what you said to me, how I heard it. From the definition of what it's supposed to be. And now you mad. You mad because I know what the definition is. Or you mad because I know what the word is. Or you mad because I know both. Because sometimes you know what something means, but you don't know what the word is. Or sometimes you know what the word is or can't remember what it means. That's why I said I was going to write me encyclopedias. Yeah, I was going to put all the words and definitions together of all the stuff that I could think of and could remember. I was going to have to do the research. Yep, because they taught us at school about doing research. Or maybe it was Miss Moore. No, that was another social worker. Can't always remember them. Julie. Julie, who was Julie again? What was her last name? I don't remember. Maddox? Is that it? Matt's. Julie, I don't remember. Had so many days on social workers. I could leave track of them. Lose track of them now. They keep coming by every every couple months. This is a new social worker. What the hell? Y'all losing them that fast? Y'all can't keep them no more? What, Jake? They case loads too big? Huh? Is that what happened, Miss? See, what's your name? I can't even remember your name, but for real. Is that what happened, Miss Lady? That they can't, um, that they case loads too, too big? They can't keep up with them. Cause that's what happened with that one girl. She was telling, because I told her she ain't came in a while and they supposed to come. I know they supposed to come at least once a month. But they ain't been here in a while. Ain't nobody been here. They just brought us here and left us here. They don't, know nothing, they don't know nothing about this lady. And she mean. She mean to us. She mean to me and my sister. And I want them to move us out of here. They need to find us another home together. Because I only came here because of my sister. Yeah, I came here because of my sister. Y'all told me she was here and the lady was nice, but we knew she wasn't nice from when she came to see me with Kay now. Yeah, I heard Kay tell y'all that she was mean, not, not the letter or whatever. I don't know, because Kay was mad at me too, so she might let y'all bring me here on purpose. Yeah, because I told her some stuff she ain't want to hear, and she got mad at me. Because at first she was fighting to keep me there. She was all, Darian is my daughter, and how y'all going to try to take her from me because she black and sent her to the, to the projects trying to tell me that... You know, my daughter, my daughter, black, Darian, all of a sudden it was all that. Because I called him out on that shit. Because I think you were Jew and I think you were German. And I don't think y'all are supposed to be together or something. Or what is all these secrets y'all trying to keep? Like, I'm putting some stuff together, but if y'all tell me, y'all won't be mad when I figure it out. Because then I think it's a game and you like, it's not a game. Some stuff you don't need to know, Darian, so watch your mouth. Like, you don't talk to me like that. Don't none of y'all talk to me like that. I'm there and I'm tired of y'all talking to me like that and then saying I can't hit nobody. 